Okay, first, before we get into the video, a little bit of a recap. So last Christmas, I got this epic plane called the Corsair. But I was like, well, I kind of want to see what the airplane's doing. So I attached a camera to it, and the plane flies, unprobably. Then, I was like, well, it didn't fly very well. So I'm going to try and build an RC airplane that can carry a larger camera. And it didn't really work so great. What are you... During the course of the day, the airplane crashed about 15 up. times. Until last weekend, when I went to Lowe's and got some foam board. I built an entirely new airplane, and it worked! Even though that airplane flew, oh it kind of flopped oh around and didn't really get oh that high God. off the ground. The reason for this was that the servos were too far away from the control surfaces. So this weekend, I'm going to build a better RC airplane that can actually fly. Now I'm going to go home and tear it apart, and next weekend I'll build a better one. So, oh, that's a... Sanyara. <laughs> The sun is up, and we are heading to the field. Oh. oh my god. Okay. So how are you gonna fix that? Uh. Okay, we're here in Harrison's mobile laboratory. Harrison, what you doing? Adding more tape. Just add more tape. Well, that's not in one piece anymore. Yeah, that didn't work so well, but in two weeks, I'm gonna build a better, more stable one that might actually fly. Two weeks later. Wow, that was impressive. It, it doesn't even have a bad wing. I don't know how I can make a better one. All right, well, that did not go so well. The airplane was just way too heavy. Um. And we're just gonna go have dinner at the um, club, but the chef left, so now we're at Primo's. We're gonna have some pizza or something. And um, next weekend or the weekend after that, hopefully, I will build an airplane that will fly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use a new wing design because my wings have been kind of trash. Um, so yeah, goodbye.